A huge ship designed specifically to transport liquefied natural gas is an LNG carrier. Due to the construction's high level of technical difficulties, only a few nations enjoy. It can be built by South Korea, Japan, and the United States together. The world's most advanced shipbuilding sector is located in South Korea. South Korea currently accepts 70% of the orders placed for the manufacture of LNG carriers worldwide. However, South Korea will introduce the most potent foe in this very soon. China, which is the field. One of them, the largest LNG-powered ship ever built, was for France and was built in China. A load that is longer than an aircraft carrier and weighs 220,000 tons. It signals not only China's ascent in the shipbuilding industry, but also the end of South Korea's monopoly. What follows is that China developed the largest LNG-powered ship in the world. Before we go on, subscribe to Chai News to watch about the most shocking and amazing world projects. You won't regret it. Ready? Let's begin. Maritime trade not only stimulates regional and national economic development, but it also sparks commercial and cultural interactions beyond borders. Nevertheless, if shipbuilding, as the industrial sector develops, there will be a lot of them. Ships. Large amounts of pollutants will be discharged by ships, which will have an impact on the marine ecology. In 2018, the U.S. carried out a number of tests. The world. Greater than 1 billion tons of carbon dioxide were released by the shipping industry. More than 3% of the world's whole greenhouse gas output. If we don't talk about by 2020, the maritime sector will release 1.75 billion tons of carbon dioxide, which is a problem. At that time, the ocean's ecological environment will suffer significant harm. We'll see a black outline of the blue water in front of us. As a result, governments all over the world have sped up the development of the shipping industry's green practices as well as the advancement of energy conservation and emission reduction. Scientists from all over the world are attempting to reduce greenhouse gas emissions as well as other harmful gas emissions from the maritime sector. Following countless tests, they discovered that LNG had the benefit of being secure, inexpensive and spotless, and it can develop into a significant power fuel to cut down on the pollution that ships create. Scientists have been working diligently for years to develop LNG carriers that are energy efficient and have lower emissions. Compared to conventional oil ships, LNG carriers emit fewer pollutants and have superior environmental and economic benefits. The world has also started to favor LNG vessels. However, the shipbuilding sector is more complex than the paper. Business, an industry that integrates labor, capital, and technology is the shipbuilding sector, and it has something to do with how developed a nation's economy is. As a result, not all nations can produce LNG carriers. It is acknowledged that South Korea nearly has a monopoly on the global shipbuilding market due to its superior shipbuilding capabilities. Whether it be productivity per person or effectiveness, comprehensive shipbuilding, a high degree of technology, or a shipyard's strong ranking, the top spot in the world has traditionally belonged to South Korea. The majority of nations can only order LNG carriers from South Korea. Furthermore, South Korea will have to wait a time before delivering the ship. China is unwilling to be ruled by foreigners due to the difficulty of this. China has thus actively started as well. Expand the shipbuilding sector. China recently assisted France in creating CMA, CGM, Jock Sardi, the largest LNG carrier in the world. South Korea was also taken aback by China and France working together since they were always of the opinion that China could not produce such a large LNG carrier. A liquefied natural gas LNG carrier is a huge ship that is specifically designed to transport LNG. Because of the significant challenges posed by the construction techniques, only a, there are only a handful of countries. It is possible for the United States of America, Japan, and South Korea to construct it together. The shipbuilding industry in South Korea is often considered to be the most advanced in the world. At the moment, South Korea is responsible for taking orders for manufacturing 70% of the world's LNG carriers. However, in the not-too-distant future, South Korea will present the most formidable adversary in this context. China, our focus for this field. Among them, China constructed the world's largest LNG-powered ship for the French nation, which possesses a load with a capacity of 220,000 tons and measuring longer than an aircraft carrier. 
It is not only a sign of China's ascendance in the shipbuilding field, but it also puts an end to South Korea's monopoly on this market. So tell me, what is the? Could China be building the world's largest ship powered by LNG? A look back at the rise of the world's superpowers in the past. Each of them established their marine trade through the construction of ships. Maritime commerce not only contributes to the economic development of nations and regions, but it also stimulates the flow of economic and cultural ideas between a variety of geographical locations. On the other hand, if the shipbuilder, as the industry continues to flourish, a significant increase in will occur. Ships, a significant amount of pollutants will be discharged by ships, which will have an impact on the ecosystem of the marine area. The year 2018 saw a series of tests carried out by the United States, the Universal. The shipping industry was responsible for the emission of more than 1 billion tons of carbon dioxide, significantly more than 3% of the total world output of greenhouse gases. Should we choose not to address this problem, by the year 2020, the amount of carbon dioxide that will have been emitted by the shipping industry will have increased to 1.75 billion tons. At that time, there will be significant damage done to the biological environment of the ocean. The normally blue water will be seen in front of us as a dark expanse. As a result, in order to save our last habitat, nations all over the world have pushed on with efforts to green the shipping industry and make advances in the areas of energy conservation and emission reduction. Scientists from all over the world are collaborating on projects aimed at efficiently lowering emissions of greenhouse gases and other dangerous gases from the shipping industry. Following a series of hundreds of tests, they, researchers have discovered that LNG benefits from having the advantage of being safe, effortless, and low in cost. In addition to this, it has the potential to develop into a significant power fuel that can help minimize the amount of pollution that is produced by ships. The United States is now in possession of LNG transporters that save energy and cut emissions, the result of years of laborious effort put in by scientific researchers. Both the environment and the economy stand to benefit greatly from the use of LNG carriers due to the reduced levels of pollution they produce compared to regular oil tankers. World's preference has also shifted toward LNG carriers in recent years. The shipbuilding sector, on the other hand, is not quite as straightforward as the paper manufacturing industry. Shipbuilding is an industry that successfully combines human labor, financial resources, and technological advancement. In addition, it is connected to the advancedness of a country's industrial sector. Because of this, not every nation is capable of producing LNG carriers. It is common knowledge that due to South Korea's superior shipbuilding capabilities, the country virtually controls the entire global shipbuilding industry whether measured in terms of production per person or overall efficiency. Comprehensive shipbuilding, a high level of technological capability, or a strong ranking among shipyards. South Korea has continuously held the top spot in the international rankings. The vast majority of nations that want to acquire LNG carriers may only do so by placing orders with South Korea. In addition, South Korea will not be able to deliver the ship straight away. Rather, there will be a period of delay. Because of the difficulty of this situation, China is adamantly opposed to being governed by any other nation. As a result, China has also started to forcefully foster the growth of the shipbuilding sector. Not very long ago, China assisted France in the production of the world's largest LNG carrier, which goes by the name CMA, CGM, Jock, SARDI. South Korea was taken aback by the fact that China and France had collaborated on the production of an enormous LNG carrier. South Korea had always been under the impression that China was unable to produce such a vessel. Thanks for watching. Click on these video to watch about another amazing project you didn't know about.